In the Bloomberg years, we have been disinvesting in the things that would most help kids who need to get ahead. Early childhood education, we've lost uh, 10,000 quality teaching childcare seats in the last five years. After school, we've lost 30,000 after school seats in this city. Mayor Bloomberg's budgets, approved by Speaker Quinn, over the last uh, five years. These... So if... It doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me if we're taking resources away from early child education, taking resources away from after school, if kids who need extra help, who need a stronger foundation, are suffering the most. And I think it's strange to me that all over this country, all over this world, uh, governments are doubling down on early childhood. They're finding ways to keep kids in safe, secure settings like after school longer. But in the city of New York, we've been going the opposite direction. If we don't reverse that quickly, and I proposed a tax on the wealthiest New Yorkers that would allow us to focus on early child and after school, if we don't do that quickly, these disparities will not be addressed. Uh Christine Quinn, can you respond to that, please? Absolutely. Look, this is an important question, and it shouldn't be reduced to the public advocate just taking cheap shots and distorting the facts. Because you know what? Talk is cheap, and this is about delivering. And in my time as speaker, we haven't talked about bringing more child care or early childhood education. We did it. 10,000 additional child care seats, uh, pre, full day pre-kindergarten seats come September. On Speaker Quinn's point about quote unquote distorting the facts, I would like to believe she knows her own budgets uh, that she's shepherded through. We have lost 10,000 early childhood seats. We have lost 30,000. 30,000 after school seats. So I appreciate any efforts she made but they pale in comparison to what we've lost. And she certainly did not agree to join me in a tax that would actually serve every child in need for pre-K and every child at middle school level who needs after school. I'm not just making you promises. I'm not just talking, because again, talk is cheap. I'm making you a commitment, and you know I'll deliver because that's what my colleagues and I have done. Speaker Quinn talks about delivery. She certainly has delivered for the real estate industry and tax exemptions. <laughs> and. And for, she certainly delivered for Mayor Bloomberg on the term limits change. I don't think we want someone who's going to deliver for interests that are powerful. We want someone who's going to deliver for the people. I have proposed a tax on the wealthiest New Yorkers so we could have full day pre-K, so we could have after school for middle school children. Latino children will benefit from that fundamental change. Latino parents will benefit when Thank we have you. paid sick days that actually reach everyone who needs them, not years from now, but now. Thank I you, think thank Latino you. voters are looking for real change in this city, and I'm ready to deliver it.